University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. Last time we saw the team from St John's College, Cambridge, take the first place in the final match of this year's competition. Whichever team wins tonight will join them. Now, we could say that the team from Merton College, Oxford, have been on fire in this competition if that didn't belie the decidedly cool way in which they saw off King's College, London and Oxford Brooks Universities in the first two rounds and then beat Fitzwilliam College, Cambridge, as well as Edinburgh University, who said their final goodbye in the last fixture. Without having lost a match, their total score from those four games is 1,020. With an average age of 23, let's meet the Merton team for the fifth time. Hello, I'm Edward Thomas. I'm originally from Oxford, though I now live in Kent, and I'm reading Ancient and Modern History. Hello, I'm Alexander Peplow from Amersham in Buckinghamshire, and I'm reading for a Masters in Medieval Studies. And this is their captain. Hello, I'm Lenny Woodland, I'm from Cambridge, and I'm reading physics. Hello, I'm Akira Weiberg, I'm from Sweden and Japan, and I'm reading for a doctorate in molecular and cellular medicine. Now, the team from Newcastle University can also boast a series of wins by big margins against Fitzwilliam College, Cambridge, and the universities of Sheffield, Hallam, Southampton and Bristol, although they narrowly lost one of their quarter-final matches to St John's College, Cambridge. From the five matches they've taken to reach this stage of the competition, they've notched up 950 points. With an average age of 29, let's welcome Newcastle to the semi-finals. Hi, I'm Jack Reynard. I'm from Leeds and I'm studying medicine. I'm Molly Nielsen. I'm from London and I'm studying medicine. And this is their captain. Hi, I'm Jonathan Noble from Newcastle-upon-Tyne and I'm studying for a PGCE. Hello, my name's Adam Lowry. I'm from Sunderland and I'm reading chemistry. Right, here's your first starter for ten. Figures on the buzzers, please. Set in Paris, The Guilty Mother is the third and least known play in a late 18th century trilogy featuring which fictional character? Martin Peplow. Figaro. Figaro is correct, yes. <laughs> your bonus is Merton College are on archaeology and poetry. In which English county is the former Roman settlement of Viraconium? It lies close to the village of Roxeter, near both Watling Street and the River Severn. That's Winchester, I think. Okay. What do you think, sir? I think it's Winchester. No, no, no. It can't no. Be. It's, it's a county. Seven. Oh, no. So it must be... Gloucestershire or something like that? Gloucestershire. Gloucestershire seems reasonable. Gloucestershire? No, it's Shropshire. In a collection of 1896, which poet refers to Viraconium as Uricon? In a 2013 work on Roman remains in Britain, the author Charlotte Higgins says that his work seems obliquely to anticipate the First World War. Houseman, maybe. Yeah, because Shropshire Trotter Lad. A Houseman? Correct. Uriconium and Ode is an early work by which Shropshire born poet? From 1909 to 1913, he regularly cycled to Viraconium to look for Roman remains. Um, I don't know any Houseman was the only one. Maybe a wonderful um, poet? Have any Shropshire born poets? Um, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, we don't Wilfred know. Owen, I mean, yeah. Wilfred Owen? It was Wilfred Owen, yes. <laughs> Right, ten points at stake for this. Notable for the feud between Edward Drinker Cope and Othniel Charles Marsh, what name is given to the period of intense fossil speculation in the late 19th century in North America that occurred in the badlands of Colorado, Nebraska and Wyoming? Its major discoveries include the Stegosaurus. Martin Peplow. The Dinosaur War. Nope. Newcastle Reynard. The Big Bone Bash. <laughs> it's the Bone Wars, or Great Dinosaur Rush. Right, ten points for this. What name links the 14th episode of the final season of the television drama series Breaking Bad, the alias of Adrian Veidt in a graphic novel series by Alan Moore, and the pharaoh Ramesses II, as described by... Martin Peplow. Ozymandias. Ozymandias is correct. 
Your bonuses are on the Nobel Prize in Physics, Merton College. In 1901, which German became the first recipient of the Nobel Prize in Physics? He gives his name to the element with atomic number 111. Röntgen. Röntgen is correct. Born in Bavaria in 1901, who won the 1932 Nobel Prize for Physics for, quote, the creation of quantum mechanics, which has led to the discovery of the allotropic forms of hydrogen? It's Heisenberg. Correct. In 1901, which German physicist published a groundbreaking paper on black body radiation? He won the Nobel Prize in 1918 for his work on quantum theory. Max Planck. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. In mathematics, what adjective is applied to the group of symmetries of a regular polygon and in aeronautics to the angle of a wing relative to the horizontal? Uh, Newcastle Noble. Dihedral. Dihedral is right. You get three bonuses on the 19th century author and social theorist Harriet Martineau. From 1832, Martineau published a successful series of tales popularising the ideas of thinkers such as Malthus, James Mill and which other classical economist, author of the 1817 work Principles of Political Economy and Taxation? Um, is it Christine? Is it Christine? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, pass. That was by Ricardo, David Ricardo. Martineau's 1840 novel, The Hour and the Man, is a sympathetic portrayal of Toussaint Louverture, the leader of an independence movement in which Caribbean nation? Haiti. Correct. In 1853, Martineau published a condensed version of the positive philosophy of which French thinker born in 1798? August Comte. Comte. Auguste Comte. Correct. <laughs> Time for a picture round. For your picture starter, you'll see the emblems of the universities attended by a US president, along with the subject they studied. For ten points, simply give me the name of the president. Newcastle Reynard. Kennedy. No. Anyone like the buzz from Martin, Martin Weiberg. Donald Trump. It is Donald Trump, yes. <laughs> Those are the emblems of Fordham University and the University of Pennsylvania. So he's the 15th US president to have graduated from an Ivy League school, but the only one to have ever graduated from the University of Pennsylvania. For your picture bonuses, three more sequences of emblems from US presidents Alma Mater from their chosen subjects. In each case, you can get five points if you can name the president. Firstly... Oh, that's, that's Toronto, the beaver. And then you've got Princeton, Harvard and Stanford. So graduate business... School dropped out of the Do you have any idea? No. no. Um, Bush? Try, try. Let's have it, George please. W. Try Dublin. Uh, which one? George Dublin. It's not there. George W. Bush? No, that's John F. Kennedy, the LSE, Princeton, Harvard, and Stanford Business School. And secondly. Um, so we've got something Princeton. I think that's Columbia. And. Oh, he had a PhD. PhD. Oh, Woodrow, Wilson. Wilson. Yeah. Yeah. Woodrow Wilson. Indeed, yes, he's the only president with a PhD. And finally... So, oh, that's Bill Clinton. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oxford and Yale, yeah. Bill Clinton? That is Bill Clinton, yes. <laughs> right, ten points for this. What specific activity is named in the title of the poem that begins Once I am sure there's nothing going on, I step inside. In the poem, Philip Larkin describes visiting an accoutred, frowsty barn and a serious house on serious earth. Martin Pablo. Church visiting. No. I'm afraid you lose five points. One of you, Buzz. Newcastle Reynard. Pilgrimage. No, it's church going. You had the right idea, but you weren't precise. Right, ten points for this. In a 1997 paper of the same name, the US computer programmer Eric S. Raymond compared proprietary and open-source software development to what two generic locations? Newcastle Noble. Heaven and Hell. No. Merton, one of you, Buzz? Merton Thomas. Earth and Heaven. No, it's the Cathedral and the Bazaar. Ten points for this. Limit 
series, transform and integral are among uh, words... Newcastle Noble. Fourier? Nope. That may... You lose five points. That may follow the surname of which French mathematician and astronomer? Briefly Minister of the Interior under Napoleon. His works include the five-volume... Martin Weiber. Laplace. Laplace is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on mountains and monarchs, Merton. Scarfell Pike, the highest peak in England, is 978 metres high. Who came to the throne of England in 978 after the murder of his half-brother, Edward the Martyr? Mm. No, that's later. Did, did, how long did Edward... No, 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 that was later. Um, I, I thought Ready Unready. Ready Unready. Harder Canute. Harder Canute. Harder Canute. Harder Canute. Harder Is that how it's pronounced? Because it's spelled with a D. I don't know. It could be either. Harder Canute? No, it's Ethelred II, or Ethelred of the Unready or the Readless. Snowden is about 350 feet higher than Scarfell Pike. Take Snowden's height in metres and imagine it as a year. Which long-lived ruler was King of Gwyneth in this year? I simply need his regnal name. OK, where's Gwyneth for a start? Is that Wales? Wales. So Brian Boyle, is that too early? No, that, that's, that's Ireland. Mm. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Reese up something. Griffith? Just Reese. 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 No, that's Griffith. And finally, Ben Nevis is 1,344 metres in height. Which son of Robert the Bruce was King of Scots in 1344? He died in 1971. Edward Bruce? Yeah, no one did it. Try. Alexander the Second. Come on, let's second. have it, please. Alexander the Second. Alexander the Second? That was David the Second. Ten points for this. Catherine of Valois was the grandmother of Henry VII through her marriage to which Welsh adventurer who was beheaded by the Yorkists after the Battle of Mortimer's Cross in 1461? Martin Peplow. Owen Tudor. Owen Tudor is right, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on the moons of Jupiter. In each case, name the moon that shares its name with each of the following figures of Greek mythology. Firstly, a priestess of Hera with whom Zeus fell in love. He changed her into a white heifer to protect her from Hera's wrath. Io. Correct. Her name meaning tender goddess, the foster mother of Zeus who raised him as an infant after his mother Rhea rescued him from the murderous intentions of his father Cronos. Could this be Amathea? That's okay. definitely a moon of Jupiter. Okay. Amathea? Correct. And finally, the daughter of Lycaon. She was seduced by Zeus and subsequently turned into a bear, in which form she gave birth Callisto. to a son named Arcas. Callisto. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. In chemistry, the action of dilute hydrochloric acid or magnesium produces what... Martin Weiberg. Grignard reagents. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. Produces what gas in addition to magnesium chloride? Newcastle Reynard. Hydrogen. Hydrogen is correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on the Guano Islands Act, passed by the US Congress in 1856. The Act allowed the annexation of uninhabited islands for their guano deposits. These included Malden, Vostok and Flint, islands now part of which republic that formerly spanned the international date line? Kiribati, Perhaps. Perhaps. Yeah. You go with that? Yeah. Yeah. Kiribati? Kiribati is correct. Incorporated into the United States by the Guano Act, which atoll to the northwest of Hawaii gives its name to a decisive naval battle of June 1942? Midway. Correct. The United States handed the Swan Islands to Honduras in 1971. They later became a base for the US-backed Contra rebels in which country? Nicaragua. 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 Correct. We're going to take a music round. <laughs> if you're a music starter, you're going to hear a piece of classical music by a British composer. For ten points, I want you to tell me the name of the composer. <laughs> Newcastle Nielsen. Benjamin Britten. Correct. 
So, following that piece by Britain, three more pieces of classical music, each composed between the 1930s and 1950s. Five points for each composer you can name. Firstly... <laughs> Bartok? It is Bella Bartok, yes. Secondly... Poulenc. Poulenc is correct, part of his flute sonata. And finally, this composer. Kachaturin. It is Kachaturin, yes. <laughs> OK, another starter question. Marina, Boina and Sakalaba were among the pre-colonial kingdoms of which large... Uh, Newcastle Noble. Madagascar. Madagascar's correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on words with the same spelling in English and Spanish. In each case, I need you to spell the word in question. Firstly, what six-letter word in Spanish means to catch or to get a joke? The English word denotes a structural element of the house of wisdom, according to the book of Proverbs. It's cock hairs to catch, but that's to catch a bus, isn't it? Um... Tom has to take. I can't. I can't think. She was past. Just guess. Is it like Capita? <laughs> yeah, Cap Capita. Uh, we'll go with that. Let's have it. Capita. We need to spell it. Oh, sorry. Spell it. C A P I T A. No, it's Pillar. P I L L A R or P R. <laughs> Secondly, what five-letter word completes this observation by an 18th-century Neapolitan diplomat? In England, there are 60 different religions, but only one what? In Spanish, a word with the same spelling means willow tree. It's not sort. There's only one sort. I think it is. I think it is. Um, S A U C E. Yeah, S A U C E. I think that's willow. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I think. Yeah. S A U C E. Correct. <laughs> Spell the four letter word that in Spanish means to bind, wrap, or tie up. In English, it's an alternative name for Epimenides' paradox. Ah, I don't know. You should get on with it. Atar. A-T-A-R. Okay. A-T-A-R? No, it's L-I-A-R, Liar. Ten points for this. Tabula rasa and Spiegel in Spiegel. Newcastle Nielsen. No, I'm afraid... Schalkhausen. I'm sorry, but if you buzz, you must answer straight away. It's not the right answer anyway. But you're gonna, I'm going to find you five points for an incorrect interruption. Um, Spiegel im Spiegel, our musical pieces of the 1970s... Martin Weiberg. Arvo Parts. Uh, Arvo Pert is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on 20th century figures mentioned in the lyrics of the R.E.M. song It's the End of the World as We Know It. In each case, name the person from the description. All three share the same two-letter initials. Firstly, a long-serving musical director of the New York Philharmonic, he composed the music for On the Town and West Side Story. Bernstein. 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 Leonard Bernstein. Leonard Bernstein. Bernstein. Correct. Secondly, the recipient of the first posthumous pardon in the history of the state of New York, granted in 2003 for a conviction for obscenity in 1964. A stand-up comedian, he died at the age of 41. LB. Um, it's still to be yeah, LB. The, the initials. Um, LB. Um, Leo, Leo Bloom. That's that's a name I've heard. Leo Bloom. That no, was Lenny Bruce. Mm -hmm. Finally, the leader of the Soviet Union between 1964 mm -hmm. and 82. Uh, what's his first name? Le Leonid. Yeah. Well, yeah. Just to say Brezhnev. 
Uh, Brezhnev. It is Leonid Brezhnev, yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. A common cause of food poisoning in humans. What group of spiral-shaped bacteria has a name that derives from the Greek for curved rod? Marta Wyback. Vibrio. No, anyone want to buzz from Newcastle? Newcastle Reynard. Salmonella. No, it's Compilobacter. Ten points for this. Who is furnished and burnished by all the shops? Newcastle Nielsen. I'm sorry, if you buzz, you must answer. I, I apologise. Yeah. You lose five points. In the words of John Betjeman, describing the tennis-playing heroine of his poem, A Subaltern's Love Song. It's Miss Joan Hunter Dunn. Ten points for this. The name of which former Indian capital appears within words meaning a symbolic representation of information and all consuming. Merton Weiberg. Agra. Agra is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on Appia, the capital of Samoa. During a naval standoff of 1889, ships of which two countries were destroyed when a typhoon struck Appia Harbour? Some years later, the same two countries annexed the Samoan archipelago. Well, Samoa American belongs to yes. and French Samoa. Okay. Okay. France, and the US. France and the USA? No, it was Germany and the USA. Overseeing the standoff, which Royal Navy cruiser put to sea and escaped major damage? It shares its name with the muse of epic poetry. That's Calliope, isn't it? Is yeah. it? Calliope? Correct. Which Scottish author arrived in Appia later the same year and wrote an account of the 1889 typhoon? He died in Samoa in 1894. R.L. Stevenson. R.L. Stevenson. Correct. <laughs> We're going to take a second picture round. If your picture starter, you'll see a painting. Ten points if you can identify the artist. Newcastle Nielsen. Corbet. Corbet is correct. <laughs> it says a burial at Ornon often identified as marking the start of the movement in French art away from Romanticism and towards realism. Picture bonuses, three later examples of the French realist tradition. Give me the artist in each case for the five points. Firstly... Millie. Yes. Millie. Correct. Secondly... It's Kayabot. And Dominic Nielsen? Kayabot. Correct. And finally... Degard, I think. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know. You decide. Yeah. Degas? It is by Degas. <laughs> Ten points for this. What surname links two US academics, both born in 1930, and the authors respectively of The Closing of the American Mind and The Western Canon? Martin Weiberg. Bloom. Bloom is right. <laughs> Alan and Harold. We get three bonuses on immunology. The natural killer cells form one subset of lymphocytes. What two letters of the alphabet denote the other two main subsets? Of natural killer cells. Oh, no, of lymphocytes. Natural killer cells. Killer cells are one subset of lymphocytes. What are they? Well, they're the type of T cells. So, yes. so, so T, T isn't one of them. I, I, I don't really. And what? T and. T and B? Correct. T cells originate in the bone marrow but mature in what organ? Thymus. Nominate Weiberg. The thymus gland. Correct. Characterised by the multilobed shape of their nucleus, what are the most abundant white blood cells in humans? Nominate, Nominate Weiberg. Neutrophils. Neutrophils, well, except all granulocytes. Ten points for this. Particularly used in relation to animal behaviour, what adjective is applied to the two periods of twilight that occur in a 24-hour day? Merton Woodland. Crepuscular. Correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on the British scholar and translator Arthur Whaley. Whaley's 1939 work, Three Ways of Thought in Ancient China, concerns Taoism, Confucianism and which school of which he wrote that it found a close parallel in modern totalitarianism. Taoism? Is Taoism and Taoism not the same thing? I don't know. Taoism? No, it's legalism. Whaley produced an early grammar of which language isolate? Spoken on the northern Japanese island of Hokkaido, it's critically endangered. Ainu. Nominate Weiberg. Ainu. Correct. 
Finally, Whaley produced the first English translation of which 11th century novel by the Japanese author Murasaki Shikibu? Nominate Weiberg. Tales of Genji. Correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> the first four letters of the name of which Australian state capital spell a word meaning forthright, lively or... Newcastle Nielsen. Perth. Perth is correct. You get a set of bonuses on Corazon Aquino, the first female president in Asia. Aquino became president of the Philippines after the People Power Revolt in which decade? 80s. 1980s? Correct. In office for more than 20 years, which authoritarian ruler was toppled in the People Power Revolt? I simply need his surname. Marcos. Correct. Which outspoken Roman Catholic cardinal played a key part in the People Power Revolt? Again, I simply need his surname. Do we know? No. Pass. What's cardinal sin? Ten points for this. Europium is one of only two elements whose chemical symbol consists of two vowels. Give the name of the other. Merton Woodland. Gold. Gold AU is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on physics. What isotope is used as the standard for the relative measurement of molecular masses? Carbon-12. Correct. What short term denotes the amount of a substance that contains as many molecules as 12 grams of carbon-12? A mole. Correct. The number of molecules in one mole of a substance represents a constant named after which Italian physicist born 1776? Avogadro. Correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> which mammals of the genus Equus appear as supporters of the coat of arms Newcastle of... Newcastle Noble. The horses? No. You lose five points. The coat of arms of Botswana. Merton Weiberg. Zebras. Zebras is correct. Your bonuses are on colonial battles in which European powers were emphatically defeated. In each case, name the primary European country and the decade in which the battle took place. Firstly, the Battle of Adoa. No idea. Pass. That was Italy in the 1890s. Secondly, the Battle of Anwal in North Africa. Mm. What could France? Mm. It could be France. France in the 1950s? Yeah, yeah, try that. France in the 1950s? No, Spain in Morocco in 1921. And finally, the Battle of Isandlwana. That's the uh, Anglo-Zulu War, so the UK uh, and 1870s. The UK and the 1870s? That's correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> Commonly used in place names and surnames, what is the meaning of the Japanese word kawa? <laughs> Newcastle, you didn't get a chance to get into your stride, really, there, but thank you very much for joining us. You've been an impressive team. We enjoyed having you. Thank you. Merton College, well, another great performance from you. We should look forward to seeing you in the final, then. Congratulations. I hope you can join us next time for the final match of this series, but until then, it's goodbye from Newcastle University. Goodbye. It's goodbye from Merton College, Oxford. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>